Hey guys, today I decided I'm just going to do a quick video just to show you guys how I usually wrap my hair. I do this every night to keep my hair straight to avoid having to flat iron it every morning. So all you're going to need is a paddle brush or any type of hair brush. And I use this scarf thing that I bought from Sally's. It's kind of like a do-rag but with really long tails here. It just looks like that. And you just use these to wrap it around your head. I used to just use a, uh, a, um, a silk scarf or a bandana, but now I use this because it stays on a lot better. So all I do, well as you see I part my hair on this side, so usually I will wrap my hair going in this direction, so that when I take it down, um, this side would be the bigger side because of the way it's wrapped, if you guys understand what I'm saying, it will get bigger when I bring it down that way. But it's okay because I have less hair on this side, so it wouldn't look as bad if I have this side being really big. But um, now I wrap it the other way because this is a really strange thing about me. I hate when my hair splits itself, like when I just start combing my hair randomly and it just parts itself because it's so used to being parted in that way. That kind of bothers me for some reason, so now I wrap it the other way to eliminate that hair separation. That's just me, but you can wrap it in any direction you want to, it doesn't matter. Okay, but anyways, here's what you do to get started. You just start at the very top of your head, and you just comb your hair down in any direction. Like, wherever your hair falls, you comb it that way. So, you look like this. I know. Very, very flattering. So, anyways, I'm just going to start somewhere on this side. Just going to split it somewhere there, and you comb your hair down and around. Just push it down and around because the idea is to get a kind of like a hole on the top that's how you get it smooth by doing it this way by going down first and then around that's how you get it to be as smooth as possible and you just keep working it section by section until it goes around your entire head and I just use my other hand to keep my hair down. I don't put anything in my hair to wrap it, but usually whatever I already have in my hair, for whatever reason it is, helps it, helps it to just stick to itself. And that's why it's I can get it to just stay. I don't even remember what I have in my hair. I don't put stuff in my hair often, but my hair just seems to stick to itself. So I just use my hands to just smooth it out now. And if you have shorter hair, another thing you can do is, hold on. Okay, if you have shorter hair, you can also use these duckbill clips, these metal duckbill clips. You can get at any beauty supply store, and you can clip them to your hair as you're brushing, like you'll brush a section, and then you'll clip it, then keep brushing, and then clip it another one, and leave it a little bit off of your hair, like don't put it up all the way, so that when you put your scarf in it, you can just pull them out because you don't want to leave these in overnight because they're uncomfortable and they'll leave dents in your hair. I used to do that when my hair was a little bit shorter, but now I just get to stick. So yeah, you just keep brushing it until you get it smooth. And then you just put on your bonnet or scarf or bandana or whatever you use. I usually put it a little bit off center. Like for example, you know how there's a seam where the center is. So I might put it off to the side. Okay, I put it out very carefully so all my hair stays down. And then it's off to the side so that I can pull it a little bit more just to give it like one final whatever you would call it. Revolution or something. Just to smoothing out a little bit more so you know it's smooth because sometimes when you put it on it kind of unravels a little bit, a few strands. So I do that so I can pull it on and like complete it. And then I just take the tails and just wrap it. And then I tie it in the back. And this will be the part where you pull out those pins if you're using them. And just put it in a bow so I can take it out easy. And usually it doesn't move at all. I don't put it too tight to give myself a headache. But usually it stays on pretty well throughout the night. I mean, I'm not usually a rough sleeper anyway, but it still stays on pretty good to me. And then in the morning I just take it out. Well, I'll, I'm going to try and film tomorrow morning. I'm supposed to be going out in with, with my friend, I'm not sure. But if I have time, I'll just film me taking my hair out in the morning. So, this is what 
it looks like and my hair will stay straight under this throughout the night. Yeah, so I'll show you tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so it's the next morning, well, it's the next day. I didn't end up going out this morning like I thought I was going to, so I got to sleep in, so it's like early in the afternoon. But anyways, I'm going to take out my hair for you guys. As you can see, well, you probably can't see, but it did shift a little bit. You see like the seam, it used to be in the center, and now it just shifted over that way. And I have a few little baby hair sticking out, but that's okay. It's all good. So uh, anyways, all I do is I just untie the back. I just had it in a bow. In a bow. I take the strings off, and that's how my hair looks when I take it out. And my baby hairs always get stuck to my forehead, which I actually don't like. It looks weird, so I always try and rub them away so it's not so pressed onto my forehead. And I just take a wide tooth comb or a comb with a tail or something so I can um, part it. I part it where I usually part it. I'm just going to make a straight part today, and I'm just going to pull it out. I just take my fingers and comb it out. And I'll redo the part. And since I had it wrapped the opposite way that I usually wrap it, like I told you guys, um, it's very big on this side. Which is why I usually don't wrap it that way, but like I said, I want to cover the part. Like, I don't like when my hair splits, and this actually stopped it from doing that, which I like. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but I don't like when my hair splits by itself. And also, I'm afraid that it's going to start thinning for some reason. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. So, see, my hair is still straight. I don't need to flat iron it, flat iron it again. Only thing I would do is add a conditioner or a lotion or something to my ends because they get dry really often. Well, actually, I just need to cut them. But, um, yeah, that's all there is to it. That's what I do almost every single night if my hair is straight. And that's how you maintain your straight hair. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.